It's a couple days before Christmas. It's pretty nippy out here today in Chicago, but we're going to do another Dutch oven recipe here on Dickin' Around Outdoors. And today we, we've picked our recipe for a confluence of events. So first off, the National Park Service is hosting the Great National Park Bake Off this month, where people will make a recipe that reminds them of a national park or something they may cook in a national park. And then you put that up on your social media and tag the National Park Service Great Bake Off. Uh, so that got us thinking about this. And as we thought about what we might make that reminds us of a national park, we found out that Death Valley, at one point in time had a large date orchard in it so death valley was one of the parks that we went uh, through on our last trip last fall and if you haven't seen that video i'm going to post it up here it's, it was a pretty cool place really uh, so we decided well maybe we can do something from death valley that reminds us of death valley and come to find out that the lodge in death valley for a number of years has had a date nut bread that they sell and serve at the restaurant which is extremely popular and go figure and i'm not making this up tomorrow is national date nut bread day so we are going to whip up some date nut bread in our lodge dutch oven so let's get after it so this is really a two-step process today first off we have to warm up some water on our stove cook down the dates for about five minutes add some additional ingredients while it's still warm and then let that cool down before we add our final ingredients and put it into our baking dish while that's happening, we are also going to be warming up our Dutch oven. I want it to be preheated today because it's pretty chilly. Okay, we've got our water warmed up, so we're gonna go ahead and turn out the dates into the pot. And uh, dates are a sticky son of a gun, so if you're gonna make this, you might want to look for chopped dates in the store because they are a bit of a treat to chop by hand. So we're gonna go ahead, get these in the hot water, soften it up a bit gonna take about five minutes for that so let's get the lid on this and set our timer the dates have been going for five minutes so we're gonna go ahead turn the fire off and we're going to stir in honey also adding our walnuts because it wouldn't be date nut bread without nuts and we're gonna add butter and once this is stirred up we're gonna take it off the stove here get the dutch oven going and let this cool down before we add the rest of the ingredients okay i think our mixture has cooled down enough to add the rest of the ingredients so we're gonna go ahead and do that we have got one egg that we beat up and in there we also added a teaspoon of vanilla so that's going in give that a quick stir and the last two ingredients we have all-purpose flour and baking soda so we're going to go ahead and get that in here This is working out really well. The Dutch oven is over, it's preheated. I did put a trivet in the Dutch oven. I wanna make sure that this isn't sitting right on the bottom. Okay, our batter's mixed. Let's turn it out into our buttered fry bake. Oh, I think it might fit. I think we're good to go here. So we've got our batter in. Let's get this in the oven. The oven is set as best you can set a Dutch oven to be cooking right around 325 degrees. We've got an extra charcoal chimney of charcoal ready that we can get that going. So let's set this in the oven. It'll bake for about an hour and 10 minutes. We'll check it in an hour, see if a toothpick comes out clean. But for right now, this is looking perfect. So into the Dutch oven we go. And again, I've got it setting on a trivet. And this works really well to use a pan inside of the oven and to use the Dutch oven as an oven, so to speak. So there we go, an hour and a half, or sorry, an hour and 10 minutes. 
get some more charcoal going. As this burns out, we'll replenish it. And we'll be back and check the bread. The bread has been cooking for an hour and 10 minutes. I believe it is done. So let's see what it looks like. Oh, I don't think we could have asked for anything better. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this out. We're gonna put it on a cooling rack and let it cool down a bit. And then we're gonna bust into this. Our date nut bread has cooled down, we hope, and we're gonna cut into it. Moment of truth here. Let's see how this looks. Oh my gosh, I don't think this could have come out better. Still got some nice steam. I'm not gonna put any butter on because there's so much in the recipe, but I do have that in the reserve. So let's see how this tastes. So this is really good. In fact, I don't know if I can honestly say I've ever had date nut bread before, but if you're a fan of banana bread or zucchini bread or anything like that, this is right up your alley. It's super tasty. It's got nice sweetness from those dates, the crunch from the walnuts. This is a super, super bread. So give it a try. I also hope you enjoyed seeing the Dutch oven being used as an oven and not as the actual cooking pot. They're extremely versatile, so I hope you enjoyed watching that. And as always, if you have subscribed, thank you very much. We appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed and you like the content, please take a moment to share it with your friends. Hit the like button and don't forget to hit the subscribe button in the lower right hand corner. And as always, take care and we'll see you outdoors.